So when you get to this part of the activity, we should be preparing to export each of our puzzle pieces as an STL file. I want to show you how to do that real quick. So I need to open up 123Design. Uh, this is just one of my puzzle pieces. So I have saved it as 2.3 puzzle piece 1. Now all I have to do once I have completed this is I need to uh, export 3D and I'm going to look for the X STL file. If you don't have the export as 3D, just click export and then when it gives you the option, just click STL. And then I'm going to do a fine uh, tessellation and that's, uh, that's all I'm going to make sure that's there. I'm going to click OK and it's going to ask me where I want to export it. Uh, you can export it to your drive somewhere that you will know where you saved it so that you can turn it in. Um, and then you're going to save it as something that's recognizable. So for me, um, maybe 2.3 puzzle piece and then we're going to do an underscore Mr. Calsby. So do an underscore your first name and then maybe one for the first puzzle piece. I'm going to click save and it saves and exports as an STL file. Now, when I have done that for all of my puzzle pieces, I'm going to go back to um, my, my PLTW. I'm going to click Submit Assignment. And there should be at least five files that I have to submit um, as an STL file in order to 3D print. So make sure you have done this for all of your parts. So I'm going to choose my file, and I know where I have saved them. So here's the one that I just did. Please make sure when you turn it in that you turn in the STL file and not your 123D design part. So make sure that your STL files are the ones that you're turning in. So I've actually done this for all of my puzzle pieces already, um, but this is how I want you to save it. So I'm going to double click on Mr. Cowsbeak, the first one. I can go back and I can do that for the second, third, fourth, and fifth puzzle pieces. If you've split up the work as a group, that's fine. You can submit them separately. Just make sure that I know which puzzle pieces and which group that it's going to. Um, once I have all the files chosen, I can click Submit, and then it will give you a little verification that you have submitted it correctly. And here we go. So I've turned it in. It gives me when I turned it in as well as the actual file if you want to check to make sure you downloaded the correct thing. It should say STL there. Please make sure you do that for all the puzzle pieces.